hey, it could be a rainy match tonight for sporting as they're hosting San Jose in a Western Conference wild card match. The winner is going to move on to the next round of the playoffs. The losing team, well, they get eliminated. Sporting won six of its last nine matches to make the playoffs. And since 2004, Sporting's won 18 of 20 home matches against today's opponent. Oh, so no. fingers crossed. Don't do that. <laughs> the San Jose, we're just throwing out the facts here. San Jose Earthquakes have only three playoff appearances the last 11 years. So KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leo live for us this morning outside Children's Mercy. Daniela, let's check in with you now. You got the chance to talk to players, coaches ahead of today's match. We They're not thinking about, we've beat them a lot. They're not even listening to the stats that Deja <laughs> just threw out there. They just want to make sure we got to win this game and move on, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Hey, good morning, Taylor and Deja. Well, the wild card match is set to kick off tonight here at Children's Bercy Park around 8.30 tonight. Now, take a look at your screen. Just like Taylor mentioned, I got the chance to visit with the team yesterday. Now, Sporting KC fans, you can breathe in a sigh of relief. Johnny Russell and Alain Pulido were both listed as questionable last Sunday as the team closed out the regular MLS season. They were at training practice, though, yesterday and told us they plan on playing today. I also got the chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with Eric Tommy, midfielder with Sporting KC. This is how the German native feels about his first playoff appearance with the team. I feel pretty good. Still a little bit tired uh, because the last game was like was two days ago. Uh, but I feel prepared as well. So we're excited because now it's crunch time and that's what we love and uh, that's why we play soccer. Okay, so. Now, if Sporting KC advances, they will take on the number one seed, St. Louis, in a best of three series. Reporting in KCK this morning, I'm Daniela Leone. Back to you guys. And, Daniela, Kansas City sports fans know how to rock the swag whenever it comes time <laughs> to wear whatever they need to wear, get the right merch for whatever these matches. There's a lot You're of sporting stuff being bought, being bought right now, right? Yeah, they are dripping in that swag, uh, Taylor, this morning. Yeah, Rally House told me that Sporting KC fans have been flocking to their stores, trying to get their hands on long sleeves, jackets, as the cooler weather is finally here. And they told us that whenever a Kansas City team makes it to the playoffs, well, the Kansas City fan base simply shows up. You know, I think we're really just seeing the lift in sales with playoff going on. Um, Kansas City is such a passionate market about their sports that we, with them not having the greatest start to the beginning of the season. Uh Now, Sporting KC told me as the team advances in the playoffs, they plan on getting additional inventory as well. Back to you guys.